A hero's welcome in the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Tens of thousands rallied for opposition leaders Felix Chisakedi and Vital Kamare. The two returned to Kinshasa after announcing their alliance in Nairobi on Friday. Under the deal, Chisakedi will be president and Kamare prime minister if the two win. We have only two opposition leaders and together they will beat all other candidates. There is no doubt as you can see yourself. Felix Shisekedi as the leader of the UDPS is fighting for us so that we don't have to beg for food or housing. Our country is down and we only trust him to change the situation of the country. I am happy welcoming my president Felix Chisikedi. The UDPS party has been fighting for change for a long time. I believe we will win and Felix will be our new leader. The winner of the presidential race will replace Joseph Kabila, who's been in power since 2001. His term ended in 2016, but he delayed elections twice, saying the country couldn't afford them. Kabila is now backing candidate Emmanuel Ramazi Shadari. Their party is very optimistic about a victory. However, Vital Kamare is warning against a fraudulent election. He accuses the election commission of favoring Kabila's pick, Shadari. Kamare says he and Chisakedi will get 60% of the votes. If, uh, say, is uh, Shadari to win elections, the people can uh, ask uh, and, uh, and uh, find a way to, to take the power because it's the people to decide in that country. The winner from the pool of 21 candidates for president will face a difficult task in power. Northern and Eastern DRC are in the grip of armed groups fighting the military. Inter-ethnic violence in the mineral-rich country has killed hundreds since 2014. Killings, kidnappings and robberies happen regularly. 17,000 UN peacekeepers have been in country since 2003 tasked with controlling the after-effects of a five-year civil war in which millions of civilians and soldiers died. At least seven peacekeepers were also killed this week trying to help health workers contain multiple new Ebola outbreaks. More than 200 people have died from the disease since August 1st. There have been 10 outbreaks of Ebola since 1976 in the DRC, but the current outbreaks are the worst to date. Dealing with them will be among the new president's top priorities. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.